graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Today's review is the Three Stooges for the NES. <sighs> God, I hate this game. I remember one of my cousins having this game for the NES when I was a kid. And when he was a kid as well. He had this, Pac-Man, Wrecking Crew, and a bunch of other games. And of course, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. The only thing I remember from that game at the time was Larry eating his soup. I'll talk more on that later. Looking back at it now, holy shit, it is bad. First of all, why would they even make a game based on an old black and white comedy short? What are you gonna work on and make a proper game based on the Three Stooges? I mean, what is there to work with? I guess the only way to find out is to dive into hell. So we begin with... Ghostbusters 2? And look, they even got the logo wrong. So we got irrelevance and wrong logo. Two really bad signs. Now Larry, Curly, and Moe show up. Okay, now what the fuck is going on? Hey, this looks like a kid game. You win with those? Oh! So it was done to shoehorn an unfunny joke. You know, I love watching the Three Stooges shorts, but I never thought I'd watch something Three Stooges related without even smiling, let alone laughing. Also, this game was published by Activision, the same people who made the shitty Ghostbusters game on the NES. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, let me refresh your memory. Yeah. That Ghostbusters game. So the plot of this game is that you need to collect enough money to save an orphanage from some mobster or something. Sadly, it's a much easier task to do in real life than in a game like this. You'll see why. Heh. <laughs> a two-player mode. So does anyone really want to join me this time? I thought so. Basically what you do in this game is play a bunch of mini games to collect money, and the game of choice is random. Sometimes you might end up collecting money automatically or losing money without even playing one of the games. But most of the mini games make absolutely no sense. First game we're gonna take a look at is called Cracker, and it's an eating contest. You win fifty dollars per bowl, ten dollars per cracker. The game is called Cracker, yet he looks like he's eating soup. Maybe it's a different kind of Cracker or something? I don't know. Did he just get castrated or something? Play that again! Yeah, it sounds like he's getting castrated. You hear something that sounds like a cut, and you hear him screaming like a bitch. If that's not castration, then I don't know what it is. Anyway, the game makes no fucking sense. It looks like you have to eat all the meatballs before they get sucked in by those shells or whatever they're called. But now, no matter what I do, he always complains! And even if I get enough of those things, he still pouts once the game is over. Really weird game. $240, not bad. Next we're gonna take a look at Help Wanted, Waiters. It doesn't say how much you're gonna make, but it says Double pay for serving all pies. Here's another crappy game. They start off by saying that they want their pie, yet they have pie right on their table. But that's not the bad part. The bad part is the broken, crippled, ass backwards, and confusing controls. I really don't know how to explain them. You really gotta play this yourself to understand why they're so bad. It's basically the video game equivalent of one person doing multiple tasks at once. It's just crazy! Nobody can do something like this! 
35 dollars oh what a ripoff alright so I guess we win instant money now wow one thousand dollars that's awesome that definitely makes up for that shitty game I played before next up is trivia which asks trivia questions about the three stooges and all their short films they've been in this isn't too bad if you're a diehard fan but this game was released in the late 80s. I doubt kids at that time knew anything about the Three Stooges. Next up is Help Wanted, Doctors. You earn $15 per second. However, the number of seconds left drop quickly every time you hit someone. All you do here is collect red crosses and avoid getting hit. You know, this game isn't too bad. It's actually the best part of the whole game. It's not saying a lot though. I'm just saying that because it's the only thing here that looks like a proper game. And you earn a decent amount of money on top of that. Next up is boxing. Now hearing that alone actually gave me high hopes. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near my expectations. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck is up with this psychedelic shit with Larry and his... Whatever he's holding. I'm guessing that's a broken guitar. Yeah, it is a broken guitar. Damn, that, that just creeped me out. This is another game that makes absolutely no sense. The game is called Boxing, yet you're not playing as Curly, who is boxing at the top of the screen against the giant boxing glove. Instead, you're playing as Larry running to the finish and you have to avoid tripping over things. I assume you gotta rescue Curly, but that doesn't even happen at the end. Not to mention the controls are very slippery. Okay, so we're running, and running, and running, and running, and running back, okay, and it stops after the sixth round. Wait, I get nothing? What a fucking ripoff! Next is a game where you're playing as Mo and you gotta hit Larry and Curly as fast as you can. While it's not great, it's something that actually works. I mean, after all, hitting each other is one of the Three Stooges' trademarks. Too bad you're in absolutely nothing. You know what? I'm gonna stop from here. It's a boring crappy game that doesn't have any sort of fun factor, and I didn't even bother to beat the game. The monster guy says... $1,655 isn't enough, even though he never says how much you need in order to save the orphanage. Fuck this game. I give this game a shit brown. Three Stooges should only stay as a comedy and nothing more. If you want to enjoy the Three Stooges, watch the classic black and white shorts. A game based on it is never going to work, and this proves it.